Hi guys! Okay, so today I had a little extra time and I wanted to go through my skincare prep. I'm testing a new foundation today and I really want to get my like canvas and base perfect so that I can really like understand what this foundation can do, what the finish is, all that jazz. So I really want to like go into my skincare today and because I've got a little extra time I want to add like an educational step. So I'm going to take you through um, why I'm choosing the products like of the lineup I have like I really I've tried to pare my collection down to just my favorite products but I'll still go over you know why I'm using this exfoliator over this exfoliator you know based on my skin concerns of the day so um, it's gonna be a long video I think but I'm excited and I'm gonna go pop this Dermaclear Dr. Jart um, clay mask on just to like get my skin ready for all, all the fun we have in store so hold tight I'll be right back I just put on the Dermal Clear um, Mask by Dr. Jart. There we go. It is a white clay mask that's really supposed to like bring out impurities and transform your texture. I apply it with a really old e.l.f. foundation brush. Um, you can get the specialty mask application brushes for like 10 bucks, but trusty old $1 e.l.f. has a fine alternative as well. Um, just so you can get an even layer so it dries in you know an even rate. I appreciate this mask because it's not overly drying. I have combination skin, so when I do hit areas that are already dry with a drying mask, it, it's not a beneficial thing for my skin. So I do some multi-masking usually where I put more um, moisturizing masks in that dry zone and then just a clay mask in my T-zone, but this one I like because I can put it all over my whole face and kind of get that shine going. So. Um, this is going to be part of my double cleansing step. We're going to wash this off. It'll foam up because in part it is a cleanser as well. It can remove like your base of makeup. And then I'm going to go in with an exfoliator and um, double cleanse with that. And I'm excited to go through my exfoliators because I am an exfoliation girl. All right, so I let this dry for five minutes. It's nice and dry on my face. Life tip for you, put chapstick on if you have a clay mask on so you don't feel like that overwhelming dry sensation. Um, I'm gonna go take this off with a warm washcloth. Be right back. a huge improvement in my skin as far as texture goes it feels so much smoother I love that so I'm gonna go in to what my favorite exfoliators are and when to use them and why so this is the Tatcha um, rice enzyme or the rice polish classic and this is a powder exfoliator that you pour out this tiny little hole add water and it foams up really nicely and it really it's a really gentle exfoliator but it's also a really nice cleanser so this one i use when i have makeup on and if i need just like a quick polish of my skin today i'm trying to go in for a little bit of a deeper clean so i'm not going to use this one but this is truly one of my favorite exfoliators another powder exfoliator i would still choose this one like 10 out of 10 times over the dermal uh, dermalogica one but this is a micro exfoliant. Again, it's a powder you add a little bit of water to. And um, this one I like, it doesn't foam up quite as well and I don't feel like it gets as deep into my pores. But um, I love this one because it's a little bit more grainy. So that one was like, this is a light polish. This is like a more medium polish. Um, my third favorite exfoliator is the Rodan and Fields microdermabrasion paste and it's just it is exactly that it's a true paste and I like this one because I feel like it really imparts a nice moisture into my skin as I exfoliate which is unusual of an exfoliator so this one is again um, I would go lightest polish medium medium to deep it's a grainy polish you actually use this dry on your face and i'm spoiler alert gonna use this one right now 
Um, and this is one of my favorites because it does really get into your skin and with the exfoliants in there, gently cleanse away any of those dead skin cells. And then my absolute holy grail is the Exfolicate by Kate Somerville. This is a chemical and a physical. So those are all physical exfoliators. This is chemical and, uh, and a physical. This is like my deep, deep, deep clean. I use this once or twice a week, usually in the shower after my skin is nice and steamed and hot. Um, so I rub this on my face. It's actually like this crazy green color. This one hasn't been opened yet. Let me open it really quickly. It's this crazy green color. It smells like cinnamon and fruit. <laughs> and um, it's seriously like if you need your all of your dead skin off, like this is the OG exfoliator. And so you put it on your face, you rub it around for 30 seconds and you leave it for two minutes and you come back to like baby soft fresh nice skin so I'm not gonna use this one today because I really do try and use it in the shower to get like the biggest bang for my buck this one is probably the most expensive one but again so worth it this is $24 for the um, travel size but um, these are truly like my three favorite exfoliators so this is like light physical this is a moderate physical this is a deep clean physical and chemical exfoliator so today I'm going in with the Rodan and Fields Micro Dermabrasion Paste because I'm really looking to cleanse, exfoliate, and hydrate. Okay, my face is squeaky clean. Um, it's red, but only because I just, I scrubbed it. You never want to actually scrub very hard, just like little little tiny circles with your fingertips um everything will calm down in a second i do have semi-sensitive skin but it just looks red right now it's gonna be fine so the next step now that i have a squeaky clean clear skin is to go in with my derma suction so this is um basically one of those like suction that gets your blackheads out the most important step here is to really cleanse your face and steam your face. So I'm gonna put a hot washcloth on my face and then I'm gonna put a small, small, small bit of oil just so it can like glide more easily over my face um, and suction my face. So I'm gonna put that in the time lapse next. <music> redness will go down but I just kind of go through and just do one pass over each section the most important part is unlike trouble areas don't just stay there you will cause like um, basically bruising if you stay on where one area too long but I really just I use it to get some of my blackheads out I push in on my nose so that it doesn't just have to like suck out you can like push in extract and then suck out um, but I'm gonna grab my next device and be right back Okay, next step, I'm going to take my Foreo. Okay, so to be clear, I'm doing like a full facial right now, but it's really helping my skin. I can't even tell you the difference in texture that I feel already. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna take my um, Foreo Espada. Basically, it is a um, blue and red light LED um, anti-acne treatment. So I'm gonna take it it has these little like lasers that detect skin and then it gives you a little bit of vibration as it works so I'm gonna kind of work in little small sections over my face I try and always do things upwards onto my face um, so I'm gonna take this in a time-lapse and I'll see you on the other side <music> like up close and personal with my skin um i've got a lot of just sp bump, bumps and spots on my chin and then again like right here on my nose they have gone away dramatically since i started this process but i'm just gonna go and see if anything is coming to the surface and if i can um easily get it out of my skin do not pick at your face do not pick at your face do not pick at your face just as something's like coming to a head you can go ahead and like it out but 
other than that, like don't go deep diving, you're not an esthetician. This is my mantra to myself. <laughs> okay, so next up, toner. So I typically don't use a toner. Um, I just started because I got this Terra May Aloe and Tea Tree um, toner and the aloe really helps hydrate. Like I don't do anything like with witch hazel in there. That will strip your skin, but do you? I'm not your esthetician. I not a doctor um something i do use really when i have congestion is this ren um ready steady glow daily aha tonic and so this comes in like a little pump form and it's kind of like a toner so i just use that on my chin it stings a little bit because it is gonna clear up some of that texture you see um, on the rest of my face though, I'm gonna use this aloe and tea tree and I'm gonna let that dry completely down before the next step. Okay, so next on my DIY facial, I'm going to take the Kate Somerville Dermal Quench and this is um, like a liquid oxygen treatment with I think hyaluronic acid in there. I don't know, it's very hydrating. I'm gonna let that dry. And the next step is gonna be the Foreo UFO. So I'm gonna use the Glow Attic Packet. I'm gonna put this on and apply it to my face for 90 seconds as a quick mask. to my face I'm going to do one more thing before um, putting product on and that is I take my um, audacity I just put this in the freezer so it's nice and cold so it can reduce any um, any of that redness and swelling that I'm seeing in my face uh, because I've been playing with it all day but I take this nice little stone and oh my god it's nice and cold and I'm going to give myself a nice little facial massage to reduce any kind of um, swelling in my face, like all of that puffiness that I'm seeing. So hopefully we see a before and after. As you can see, I give myself a little five minute massage it kind of brings down that redness and swelling just that that was just the cold stone so I usually am red here here and here or like sometimes on my chest and it's really important to like work out some of that uh, I think drainage I don't know the lady at Nordstrom sold me so hard on this stone and I don't use it nearly enough so I'm gonna try and use it every day starting in September I'm doing 75 hard and I'm gonna incorporate some of my skincare and like body care I got like a dry brush and a dermal roller and things like that so I can really get um, into a routine here so next on the agenda so we did dermal quench and we did the UFO serum so my skin's actually feeling really good um, and hydrated the I'm gonna go into serums next and remember I know this has probably been like 50 minutes long but um, I'm gonna do a makeup application next so I'm really trying to get my skin even and hydrated to really absorb all of makeup properly next I'm gonna go into serums so here are some of my favorite 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 serums um, I'm actually gonna add some more in here because I'm so extra. So for brightening, vitamin C, I like the Ulla Hendrickson one. I like how it smells. I like the texture it keeps, like leaves on my face. I like this whole line. Um, for Murad, I like the, or for collagen, I like the Murad Rapid, um, Rapid Collagen Infusion. For AM and for PM, I'm a huge fan of this Alginus Li Liquid Collagen. It's actually a vegan collagen and I think they like source it from algae. I really like that because I think it's a little bit more moisturizing on my skin. Um, I like more oil-based at night just because I can, I don't need to like look shine free. Uh, for acne, I adore 
the dermal quen sorry the <laughs> kate somerville eradicate salicylic acid treatment so this is like a pink i only have so many hands this is a pink serum i swear i don't like it just because it's pink but um it comes out like that and this clears up my acne so well it also has retinol in there i don't think they're able to say that because someone else has the patent but um it's like my favorite product it's got salicylic acid and retinol which help break down any acne and re like turn over the skin cells so you're really able to get in there i use this primarily at night but i'm gonna use it right now just because i see so much acne building up on my chin so I just use a tiny bit there and it doesn't really burn or sting. It's really quite hydrating for an acne serum and I really, really like it. It has like a fun smell to it. <laughs> I'm a big fan. And then the last is Kate Somerville's Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. This is really more of a serum than a moisturizer as you can see like the texture. It's got a kind of silicone texture which I don't love if I'm looking for pure hydration, but as a makeup prep step, this completely gives you a great canvas. It's kind of, I use this in lieu of any kind of other um, makeup primer. I actually have the Ulla Hendrickson uh, Banana, Banana Bright Face Primer, and I use this one like a thousand percent more because it's hydrating it gives you a perfect finish and base for your um, makeup so I'm gonna try that one right now I lied I actually put some of the um, Ulla Hendrickson the truth serum on first and now I'm gonna put a little bit of the Kate Somerville I'm out I used the last pump on my hand maybe there's more I will find more. Okay, I'm desperate, so I broke off the top and I'm just gonna go in with a Q-tip and get that last little bit out because it's actually something I can't live without when I put makeup on now. Okay, and it really just gives you the best finish for makeup. Uh, my favorite. I wish you could feel my face. It started rough. And I didn't put like retinols or anything on last night like I was supposed to to prep for this makeup video. So I just came in with like a rough ass face. So I'm really glad I did all of this. Two more steps. I know it seems like a lot of steps because it is a lot of steps. But um, I'm gonna put a little bit of face oil on. I'm gonna take you through my favorite face oils. So if you've ever, ever, ever seen any of my skincare, I love the go-to face hero oil, but I thought I would, while I was educating about other brands that I like, let you know that I also love the Herbivore La Peace one. It's supposed to be a balancing face oil. It's good for acne prone skin. The Herbivore Emerald is a CBD one, um, which, CBD is known to reduce inflammation and redness, so I think that might be good for right now, but we'll see which one I end up using. I love the Audacity. Again, this is the same brand as the stone I was using. Um, Audacity, this is the GT&L Green Tea and Lemongrass Serum for Radiance, and it just gives you a really nice glow overall. So today I'm gonna use the Audacity one, because I just have been loving it. I know, it's crazy. It's a little bit lighter than the uh, go-to oil, and because I have so many layers on, I really don't want to rock the boat at all. So I'm just gonna place a little bit in my hand, maybe a little bit more, because it's like, eh, that's probably fine. And I'm just gonna rub it in my nice clean hands and press it onto my face, because I have so many freaking layers of skincare on that I really can't afford to rub it in because it will move all of the skincare. Oil is a sealant. You put it on last and it seals in all the hydration you just put in your face. And I adore it. 
Speaking of oil as a sealant, I'm gonna actually go in with my eye creams as well. So here are my favorite eye creams. I also like the Ulla Hendrickson Banana eye, um, Brightening Under Eye. I just haven't been using that lately. So I love the Bright Eyes by McFadden MD. I think I actually rubbed the name off the label. The Origins Ginseng um, is great for brightening. It has a little bit of mica in there, so it's good for like that added pop of um, brightening. And then my tried and true favorite is the Jolique Nutri Defense. Um, this is a nice thick, thick, thick cream. I think I've done this before for you guys. Like, it's such a nice thick cream, and I have huge eyes which gives me a lot of under eye skin to take care of so i love a thick cream under my eyes i didn't mean to put this one on i was going to show you all of them first also love the alginist com complex uh, sorry complete eye renewal i can read complete eye renewal balm this one's really great uh as far as thickness thickness goes um the jolique Nutri Defense one is far thicker than the Alginus one. So I use the Jerlique one primarily at night. Um, again, for that nice, rich eye moisture. So today, even though I did just put on a different one, I'm gonna put on Bright Eyes by McFadden MD. I'm just gonna dot that onto my eyes, rub it in with my finger gently. Whew. I actually irritated my eyes with like a Bobbi Brown liquid eyeshadow last week and my eyes have been so sensitive. So in addition to this, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm going to put on the Audacity um, Eye Contour Serum Concentrate. I do like this brand. It's drying. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit on my fingertips and blot that into my under eye area. Again, oil is a sealant. This will seal in the moisture I just put under my eyes so that any, found, or any concealer I put on as I do my makeup will not crease as badly after it dries down. Sorry, I still have Jolique on my chest. The last thing I'm gonna do is some um, SPF. The only, the most important thing for anti-aging. Do you know that your outward like aging is about 10% dependent on like your genetics and internal? It's like 90% based on what you're putting on. Are you in the sun? Sun is the number one factor. Sun, 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 sun. Um, what kind of moisture are you putting on your face? Do you sleep on your face? That kind of stuff is even like slow to moderate. Sun is the thing that ages you. Put sunscreen on, stay out of the sun. So I'm gonna go through my two favorite sunscreens. Um, one is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and the other is the Super Goop Glow Stick. If I were to just go out with like a fresh face like this, I would 100% put this glow stick on because you just like swipe it on your face and you have like SPF 50 and it's amazing. Um, but because I'm doing makeup right after this, I don't love the texture this gives under makeup because it is, it's like basically creating a barrier between you and the sun. Um, this one is a little bit more moisture, like a um, lotion like. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on and I rub it in just barely and I like let it kind of soak in to get the most SPF possible. So I'm gonna kind of let it sit like this. I'm gonna do my chest after this. Um, I let it sit and then I like rub in any excess in like a minute. All right, there we have it. I have done, whew, I did a face mask and then I exfoliated. Um, from there I did my LED treatment and then I did a quick LED mask. From there I de-puffed with a frozen, um, they have a name, some kind of stone. Uh, I don't love jade rollers, I just don't like them, I don't know why. Um, I'm a big fan of that stone. And I did serum, I did the um, Kate Somerville salicylic acid treatment on my chin. 
a little bit of the Truth Serum from Ola Hendrickson on my face for brightening. And then all over as like a makeup primer, I put on the Kate Somerville 2-in-1 Moisturizer from Wrinkle Warrior, I think it is. And then I put on the Audacity um, Glow Tonic Oil, just pressed that into my skin, and I finished off with some SPF. So there we have it. There's my face after. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs>